Hello everyone and also all the IB candidates out there who are taking chemistry subject. Welcome back to my channel. Study with me. Today I'm going to talk about chemistry paper 1 time zone 2 higher level May 2021 exam. If you guys find this video is helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like and share. Do not forget to check out my other videos to improve your grades. All right, let's get started. All right, as usual, I'm going to divide these videos to be two parts. The first part of this video will discuss question number 1 to 20. And the second part of this video will discuss question number 21 to 40. Let's get started. Question number 1. 0 0.2 mole of magnesium is mixed with 0 0.1 mole of hydrochloric acid. Which one is the limiting region? And how many moles of maximum yield of hydrogen? For Mg, it's 0 0.2. For HCl, it's 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is smaller compared to 0 0.2. It means HCl is acting as a limiting region here because it's smaller. It means there is no more HCl will be left. How many moles of Mg that is reacted with HCl? It will be 1 divided by 2. 1 comes from coefficient of Mg as coefficient unknown, divided by 2 as coefficient known, times of mole known, which is 0 0.1. Therefore, Mg is an excess. How many moles extra? 0 0.15. So limiting region is HCl, either A or C. Moles of hydrogen, 1 divided by 2, 1 comes from coefficient unknown, divided by 2, coefficient known, times 0 0.1, which is 0 0.05. Therefore, the answer will be C. Question number two. Which amount in mole of sodium chloride is needed to make 250 centimeter cube of 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cube solution? This one is V. You need to divide by 1000, converting them to decimeter cube, which is 0 0.25. And this one, it's C, which is concentration. To calculate mole, N, C times V, which is 0 0.1 times 0 0.25, 0 0.025. The answer is B. For question number three, what is the sum of the coefficient when the equation is balanced with whole numbers? We start from Na2 as NO3. Na here is 2. Don't forget to put the coefficient here is 1. And a here is 2, and a here is 1. You put down here 2. And for Sn, here is 1, and here is should be 1 as well. So h will be here is 4, and here is 2. So 6 in total for h. So you can write down here 3. So it's balanced. So the sum of the coefficient here, 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3, which is 7. And number 4, what is represented by negative 2 in this symbol? Negative 2 here means negative ion. If it's negative ion, it means has extra electrons if there is extra electron it means gains of electron and let's see number five the first eight successive ionization energies for an element are shown in which group is the element as you guys can see here there is no high jump of the ionization energy however there is a high jump. It means to remove this electron is very difficult, needs a lot of energy. So this six, 
you can assume that it will be in the outermost shell. If six electrons in the outermost shell, it means valence electron it's six. Therefore, in which group is the element? It's group six. Number six, which property increases down a group? Atomic radius, number of proton increase, therefore number of electron increase, therefore number of shells increase, therefore atomic radius also increase. Which is a D block element? CNO, CF no, CL of course no, and it's CO, which is cobalt. Number eight, which factor does not affect the color of complex ion? Temperature of solution? It's not. Identity of the ligand? Strong field ligands cause a large split in the energy of the orbitals of the central metal atom cause different color. So identity of the ligand affect the color. What about metal? Whether the metal is full or not, it enables to promote the energy. So if it's not full, it means it has a different color. Oxidation number of the metal, different oxidation metal will have different color. It means B, C, and D are not the answer. Number nine, which compound has the greatest volatility under the same condition? Volatility, it means easy to evaporate. If it's easy to evaporate, melting point and boiling point should be low. SRO, ionic compound, SNO2, ionic compound, SiO2, giant structure, and SO2 is only covalent, A. Which compound has the shorter C to N bond? HCN. This is the direct answer. HCN, if you draw the Lewis structure, C and N, triple bond. Triple bond is the shortest bond. Therefore, the answer for question 10 is A. Which is the correct order based on increasing strength? We do have covalent bond, hydrogen bond, dipole-dipole, and dispersion force. Dispersion force is the weakest one. So we'll see. Dispersion force is in C and D. So A and B are not the answer. Now, dispersion force, dipole-dipole, and hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bond is stronger compared to dipole-dipole forces. As you guys know, dispersion force, dipole-dipole, and hydrogen bonds are intermolecular forces and covalent bond intramolecular forces. So covalent bonds are the strongest. It means the answer will be C. Which atom has expanded octet? Let's see CO2. It means between this should be more than 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. No. S and SCL4. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But S, as you guys know, valence electron, it's six. But here, only four. It means you need to have two more. So the total here, it's ten. So ACL4 has an expanded octet.
B. What about PCL3? PCL3 would be like this. PCL3 has one lone pair because P has five valence electron. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So P is not. When you draw H2O2, it's also not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight, and this one also eight. What is the electron domain geometry of Si in SiO2? As you guys know, SiO2 is a giant covalent structure. Every single silicon bonded to 4O. If you guys again draw Si, Si again will bond it to 4O. So it has four domains, which is tetrahedral. Which describes an exothermic reaction. As you guys know, exothermic means heat lost to the surroundings. From surroundings to the system, no. From systems to surroundings, yes. See also. What about products? Is it bigger than reactants for the enthalpy? When we draw the diagram of enthalpy, here is the energy and here is progress of the reaction the diagram should be like this product is in here and reactant is here delta H is negative as the exothermic reaction so decrease in enthalpy so enthalpy of products is smaller than reactant the answer will be D and not really far from question number 15 what can be determined about stability and energy change from the potential energy profile shown if the enthalpy is low it's more stable so more stable is product what about enthalpy enthalpy here decreases which is negative so if enthalpy is negative is exothermic the answer will be c question number 16 which represents electron affinity Electron affinity means adding an electron to a gaseous atom, which here is not atom. Here is a molecule. Here is an atom, but it's solid. So it's B. Atom and gas. Adding electron becomes negative. Which change result in the largest negative value of delta S, which is entropy? So decrease sing of entropy. It means moving particles becomes less. So the moving particles is gas. Becomes less. We cannot calculate if it's not gas. So in this case for a okay liquid and liquid so zero and here liquid we don't count it gas and gas so two so zero becomes two it's increasing so entropy it's positive and b caco3 solid zero cao we don't count it and co2 gas one zero becomes one again entropy is positive h2o is liquid h2o is here is solid so liquid to solid zero and d and h3 gas one htl gas one so total 
2 and H4Cl, it's solid, 0. So 2 becomes 0, decreases, delta S is negative. So the answer will be D. Number 18, which change causes the greatest increase in the initial rate of reaction between nitric acid and magnesium? So to increase the reaction rate between these two compounds, we need to double the concentration. So double the concentration, more particles, so collision will increase either A or B. For the size of metal pieces, you need to increase the surface area. If half the surface area is small, so you need to double it so the surface area will be big, the answer is B. Number 19, which explains increasing rate of reaction with increasing temperature? Energy here needs to be high. If the energy is high, collision will be also high, therefore increasing the temperature. It's going to be between B and D. Frequencies of collision should be high. This or this one? So the answer is B. For question 20, which graph represents a second order reaction with respect to X? If it's concentration versus rate of reaction, the graph should be quadratic. So it's not versus time, it's between rate and concentration. This is the quadratic curve, so the answer is D. If you guys like this video, please subscribe, comment, like, and share. For question number 21 to 40, please watch the second part of this video. I hope this video helped you guys a lot. And see ya!